This video will show you how to program your Kibo robot using the sound sensor. As described in the previous video, the sound sensor detects sounds in the environment. You'll notice that the sound sensor looks like an ear, and it helps kids remember what this part does. When programming your Kibo robot with the sound sensor, you will need the wait for clap block. This block will be used so your robot knows to listen for sound. I'm going to program my Kibo robot to beep, wait for clap, shake, and then go backwards. So first, I'm going to remember to attach the sound sensor, and you can do it in any of the different ports. Once I've done that, I can scan my program. Let's see what happens. You'll notice if I hadn't actually clapped, the robot would have never finished the program. Check out our next video to see how to use sensors with repeat loops and parameters. Thank you.